All right, check it out. This is how my hair looks towel dry. Hopefully you can see the glass mirror. I'll try to stay in the shot as much as I can. Comb it out. Get all the knots out. It's actually a little dry right now, so hopefully it works out. This is a big, uh, big, huge roll for us. I'm gonna take this tighter one. I'm using that. Well, it's kind of backwards there, but yeah, whatever. It's boardwalk pomade, stronghold, aloe vera based. Just get about the size of a quarter. Get it in there. Work it through. Everywhere. And then uh, slick down the sides, in the back, and just work the rest on the top. Like so. That's pretty much that. And uh, I'm going to wash off the excess warm water and soap. Sorry, this takes a minute. I like to get it all out as much as I can. I don't leave residue on the brushes. I hate that. I hate grabbing a sticky brush. Okay, dry them off. So my hair is all slicked back right now. Take that big brush again. Ugh, yeah, my hair is super dry. Cause it's tough to get through, but I'll get through it. That's why I use two brushes. Comb it all back. Comb the knots out. Get it nice and straight. Cause my hair is jacked up. It's wavy curly. Super wavy curly with a menal split in the middle in the front. Fortunately got that from my mother. That's how her hair was. Almost through. Okay, feel pretty good about that. And set this back piece. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna take that smaller, tighter brush. Do the same thing. Get the final knots out, work it all through. Okay. Until that back corner is gonna be an issue. All right, here we go. And I just start pulling out. I kind of roll my wrist as I'm pulling out. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. So I pull out the side first to create the part because the rest is easy. These kind of go all the way around. Rolling the wrist as you're pulling the hair forward. Come back around. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll actually put my head down like this here. Let gravity give me some assistance. If my face looks like I'm in a little pain, it's because my hair was super dry. I let it get too dry. All right. So now that my hair is pretty well fully extended, now we're gonna shape. So I pull up with my right hand with the brush, and I shape it with my left as I'm going around. I'm kind of pushing it out as I shape it. And this is uh this is the meat and potatoes of it. The hard part is getting the back corners to blend properly. Because the front can look good all day, but I feel like the back is just as important as the front. The front's really starting to come together already pretty quickly. This is gonna happen when you have your hair trained and keep using the same product. If you change products it can vary. Yeah, 
There we go. Alright. So you can see the front looks pretty good already. But here comes the difficult part. The back. So I use a mirror so I can see the back. This shows you what the back of your hair really looks like. When you think it looks good from the front and you turn around and you got a bunch of hairs poking out. But you gotta get to lay down and calm down. This is how you do that. Like I just said, the back is just as important as the front. Because when people meet you, they meet you by looking at the front of your hair. But after your conversation is done, you're walking away. If they're impressed with you, they're gonna look back and say, man, that's a cool dude, or whatever they're gonna say. And as they look at you, you're walking away, the back of your hair is showing, obviously. And the back of your hair looks messed up. You just lost some of those credits, some of those points, if you will. So back has to look just as good. And that's actually coming together pretty quickly as well. All right. Then while you do this, sometimes the front will get a little messed up. You just gotta come back around. Yeah, see like this side got a little messed. So we'll try to fix this up just a hair. No pun intended. Sometimes you gotta really work at it to find a happy medium. Like right now by fixing the front, I messed up the back again a little bit, but not too bad. Key is the hair that you're coming up and over with to get it to lay down and kind of look like a shell. That's the hard part. I like to keep my, I like to keep my hair like the way I like to keep my life. Keep it tight, keep it right. If you do it right the first time, you don't have to worry about things later. So I am pretty happy with this. For the moment, that and I have to get to the next gig. So, I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna pick up the camera here. And there you go. Get my thumb out of the way. And there you go. That's my hair in seven and a half minutes. See ya.